You've made a time loop, Daddy. <laughs> if that picks it up again. You've made a time loop, Daddy. <laughs> If that picks it up again. Uh. <laughs> Make a time loop, Daddy. <laughs> if that picks it up again. <laughs> Make a time loop, Daddy. <laughs> Go keep going, keep going, keep going! Oh, keep going. Oh,
Tickled anyway, but I thought you might. Sure no, you know I don't like being tickled. I like having my tummy rubbed, but that's tickled my side is not the same thing. I was giving you a tummy rub. No, my tummy is at the front. I like having my tummy rubbed, but that's tickled my side is not the same thing. I was giving you a tummy rub. No, my tummy is at the front. I like having my tummy rubbed, but that's tickled my side is not the same thing. From what I can see, it doesn't apply to mobiles, the limit. Mind you, I don't know whether Grandma will be able to cope with watching you for... From what I can see, it doesn't apply to mobiles, the limit. Mind you, I don't know whether Grandma will be able to cope with watching you for... I'm going to turn this infinite loop off now. Okay. Thank goodness. It will slowly fade out of the actual life thing, hopefully. Nine minutes. I go for a piece, I can't contain my excitement. <laughs> Monkey looks anxious. Your imagination. No, he's always looks anxious. Okay. me. 
neat to me on my side. Neat to you? Oh, yeah. I see. I don't think you can. I think you're just going to have to put up with that echo. No. Meet me right on my end. Wait. Oh, good. You know, you can just shift click to get all of them. I guess you don't have to do You're going to have to explain to Grandma that when actually doing it, there's going to yeah. be a delay. Time I will delay. tell him. Fuck him. <laughs> I will tell, tell him, him that she's a man. <laughs> Oops. That's what I meant. Seven minutes. We'll have to close the door. Yay! There are three children now. One of them's got to have grown up by that, I'm sure. Nope, not yet. But they take That's what you should do with villagers, put different stages of growth in. Yeah. From like, they're like little and they're like teenagers looking around the village. They're looking down and not looking at you. Yeah. 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 when it's working. Okay. Right. You know, just go into it and move just move around the world a bit. We've got twenty six. But maybe you could just call grandma now. I mean it doesn't need to be exactly on time, it could be slightly before. That's a good point. She does have a um clock that's in ten minutes ahead, so maybe it's You know, it's really distracting having the mouse on the thing. Well, you can minimise that. You don't need to have it. Okay. Oh, as long as you don't turn it over, it's fine. I know. Are you ready to have a go? Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah.
Well, it would be helpful if it's obvious that it's working. Uh, I'm just crossing everything. <laughs> Does that mean I have to? Hmm? Yeah. Ocean ruin. Even he's worried. He's buried himself. My goodness. I don't know. <laughs> I thought I was stuck with him for a second. Uh, that next to a shipwreck? That's awesome. What is there? You tell me what is there and I'll try and work it out. Saying and doing at the moment 
won't get to you for five minutes. Uh, five minutes, five seconds. That might be longer. Uh, maybe a little bit longer. Ask her what it looks like. What does it look like? They're scooting along the sea. Yep, that is the one. Can you hear Alexander? Um, uh, can you hear what Alexander's saying? Yes, I can hear him too. Um, right, what we need to do so that he can hear you is I'm going to get off the phone to you and I'm going to call your phone using his mobile phone and he's going to hear you through the headset. Yeah, and then when it comes, when it rings again, answer it and it'll be him. Telly, not through the phone. You need to let Ness quicken. Okay. Right, I'm going to call on this, and when I say, you turn the headphones on, alright? Well, I'll do it when I'm ready, I think. Oh, fine. Just You're call good. her, and then Daddy will tell me how to mute it. And, well, obviously, you say that she'll be hearing me through the telly. Yeah. You may have heard Alexander talking a short time ago. It's something about he's needing to put his uh, headphones on when he, he's ready. Uh, now, what did Mark say? What did he say I should say to my mum? Just mom? tell her that she won't hear Alexander through the phone. Oh, yes. Only through the TV. Right. You won't hear Mark through the phone. Alexander! Alexander. For goodness sake! Look! I'm no, trying no, no, to no, talk no, to no, four no, people no, at the same everything. time. I stop it. Hello. So, um, what was I saying? It's oh, hear me through the television. You'll hear me through the television. Right. You will hear Alexander through the television. You won't hear him through the phone. But you talk into your phone so that he can hear you. Okay. Right. Uh, but of course, there will still be that delay of five seconds. Okay. Right, we're ready. Okay, can you mute it? How do we mute it? You do that, and I will put the mute on. Ready? Yes. Okay. Hello? Hello? I, I hear you. Well, that's because it's a five second mm -hmm. delay. Hello? 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 How are you doing? Yeah, I can. I can hear you. There's a del. There's a. It's a bit. Mommy! Mommy, it's late! It's late on her! Wait, wait! Of course it's late! Wait! Well. Wait, do everything! No, 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 no! Calm down, calm down, calm down, Alexander. Hello, can you hear me on the phone? Mum? Mum? Oh. That's still on there. Oh, she's hung up. Or well, I've hung up by turning that off. He's not able to cope with that very well. Right. Don't ask him what the problem was. What was the problem?
We'll have to do it the other way, where yeah. Grandma turns the sound down. And huh? She hasn't turned her phone off. Oh, right. Okay. So it's engaged. Grandma, can you turn the phone off, please? Oh yeah, I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> Mum, if you can hear this, please can you f um, end your call at your end? Because I need to try and call you again. he can't do it that way so what you're going to do instead is um, if you turn the sound off on your television mute it um, then he can talk to you through the mobile phone and then at least the talk will be instant even though what you're seeing will not okay so have you turn it right down, completely mute your television because he can't cope with the feedback. So, um, Alexander, how do you want to talk on the phone? The speakerphone. Yeah, right, okay. I'm going to turn this on speakerphone now. Right. Hello. Hello. How, how are you doing? Okay. Good. Right, now, soon you should be seeing me move on the game. And it should suddenly turn to day. Uh, uh, you the the uh, little square. I mean the little um, cross. Oh. Yes. On the game, on the game, it's changing, isn't it? Yeah. It's moving around. Yeah. Right. Right. Now, remember, it's going to be a bit late. It's going to be probably a five-second delay. Like so. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Um. Right, now, soon I should be getting an egg no. and placing down no. an iron golem. Right, but well, I've just seen a cow. Oh, yeah. Do you see uh, the iron golem yet? Yes, yes. Right. Um, so... Is he one of the guardians? Well, yeah. Um, now, I'm going, soon, I'm going to upgrade him yeah. by putting this into, this thing into his back, um, uh -huh. um, and he'll start shaking. Mm -hmm. Is he doing that yet? Well, he's done something, but it's not shaking. He may be soon. Yes, he is now. Yeah. Yeah. And you see, he's got yeah. something in his back. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Um, and soon he should transform. He's not done it yet for me, so it'll probably be a while before he does it for you. Um, it takes a while for him to transform. Uh huh. Um. Well, he's not in oh. <laughs> oh, he's transformed. He's transformed for me, so soon he should transform for you. Yes. Yes, he has. Yes, good. Um, now um, I'm going to put him up against some enemies, and hopefully you should see that he jumps and knocks them all away. Um, Okay, well he's just done it for me, so he should do it soon for you. Yeah, yes. He's, so he's jumping and he's... Yes, which is obviously very good. He's destroying yeah. all those enemies, so obviously yes. he can be helping out the villagers. Yes, good, good. Um, now... I'll show you... Or now I'll get another Iron Golem. 
and give him a different thing which should upgrade him into a different type so I've put I've got him and I've put the thing into him so he should start shaking for you soon um, is he shaking He's moving, blooming fast though, for, for a golem. Yeah. He's falling into a pit. Yeah. Um. I'll help him get that out. Oh, he's shaking now. Yeah. Good. So, slowly, he'll transform into his upgraded version. Yeah. He's done it for me, so hopefully soon he should do it for you. Mm -hmm. Still shaking, but not transformed yet. Oh, he has now. Yeah, so yes. you see yeah. he's wearing like grey armour. Yes, that's right. And so this means that he'll be better, uh, well, he'll do more damage when he attacks the enemies. Um, so, hopefully he could attack an enemy in at least uh, in just one hit which is obviously quite fast you may have seen him do it just now um, he, so yeah this guy does more damage to the enemies which is useful and now I'll go over and put another iron golem down and make him transform into the third version Hopefully you should be seeing that now. I've probably gone over to an island and placed him and down. Is this the one that heals? Yes, this will be the oh, one good. that heals. Um, hopefully you can see um, I've put something into his back which has a heart on it. Yes, that's right. Yes, so when he transforms, which should hopefully be soon... Uh, Hopefully, should be soon. Yeah. Come on, Mr. Iron Golem, transform. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I'm just as impatient with you with these things. Oh, he started shaking. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, and he's transformed for me, so hopefully, soon he should transform for you. And he's started making hearts come out. Like hearts, That's right. yeah, yeah. I've got that. hearts yeah. coming out of him. You can see now he's wearing this little hat, and he's got a yeah. cross on him. And um, in one of his legs, you should see some gold stuff, and in another yeah. of his legs, you could probably see some like grey blue stuff. Um, mm -hmm. um, that is to cure the zombie villagers. So he uses that grey blue stuff to weaken them and then he uses those gold things to cure them and turn them into regular right. villagers. So I'll show you him doing that soon. So if there's a zombie villager, he, cure, oh, he, he should have turned it into a villager. Um, so maybe you'll see the zombie villager appear soon and him transform it into a regular villager. Right. Have you seen that happen? Yes. Good. And now, if I injure the villager, then the guy will rush over and heal the villager. Um, so you may have seen him run over to the villager yes. and then hearts come off. And, yes. um, uh -huh. and yeah, he heals the villager then. And also, if I create another iron golem, and then hurt him, which should be happening soon. Like, he's got cracks on him, but then the guy goes over to him, and then there's no more cracks on the golem, so he's repaired him. Did you see that happen? Yeah. Right. So, obviously, that's really good. The guy healed the fellow. So, um... Very, very good. Very good. Um, no. very good. Here, uh, you may have seen some orange things hopping around in the distance, and I've now got a bit closer to those. Oh, I'm seeing them now, yeah. Yeah, um, and these are honey slimes. Um, so these guys 
Um, they'll hop around and they're made of honey and they're also slimy and if you kill them they'll split into multiple guys and those guys can actually come back together like they can merge with each other now these guys unlike the regular slimes are actually friendly so they won't hurt you unless you hurt them which is obviously understandable um and if you tame one of these fellas then they'll be able to heal you which is good um now another thing that i've made um is this fellow um who you should be seeing soon um they're like skeletons with rags do you see them? Yes. Um, these guys are a bit less friendly. They're called dust devils, and if they attack me, they'll go invisible, and then they'll be a lot faster, and they can kill me a lot easier. One just hit me now, so he should have done that for you. Oh, and he's killed me. So you may have seen him kill me. Well, I can see them after you. Yeah. Oh dear. So what those. What do you do about them? Non. Well, you can just attack them and hope they don't kill you. They appear in the mm. deserts, so if you're not in a desert, they won't attack you. Um. Right. Now this is a fox. What I'm going to um place down soon. Um, he's from regular Minecraft. Like, I've not created him. Um, uh -huh. And, yeah. Now, there's They're also... Very cute, aren't they? Yeah. Um, um, if I go to um, an icy place, which hopefully I should have done sooner for you. Uh, the, oh, there's got to be a forest for the guy to have his snowy type. Any snowy forests? Any snowy forests? There doesn't appear to be any snowy forests. But if there were snowy forests, then the foxes would look icy, like they'd be blue. Hello? Yes. Uh, uh, it's all icy. Yeah, all if they're in. If yeah. they were in the snowy place, then they'd be um, a different colour, which is what happens yeah. with them in the regular Minecraft. But oh, look, there's a um, there's a snowy forest. So if I put a fox down in there, hopefully he should he should um, t he should be a different colour. Right. Yeah. So I'm putting some snowy foxes down. So hopefully you should see them soon. Oh, I can see them now. Yeah. Yes. These guys are from regular Minecraft as well. Um, so, but the real interesting thing is if I go to a desert, there'll be a new type of fox, which I've created. Oh, the one with the big ears? Yeah, the fennec fox that's in real life. Um, if, if I just place some guys down... Hopefully soon you'll see um, that these guys look a bit different to the regular foxes. Um, and are yeah. these foxes friendly or unfriendly? Oh, they're all friendly. Um, can they can they help you against the creatures in the desert that attack you? No, no, they're just oh. they just wander around. Uh -huh. Um, but. Yeah, they're cute. Um, and well, yeah, this type of fox I've added. And they're in real life, so technically I've not added them. I've just added them into Minecraft. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, they're pretty cute. Um, and now... I'll place down another thing. Um, which... And this is a bit different to the foxes. Um, this is is a cloud cube hopefully you'll start seeing it soon it's like a big white block 
Yes. Um, yeah. And he goes along and places it down, like, below him, little uh-huh. clouds um, that he can uh, jump off. So he can basically fly. Uh-huh. You may be able to see him doing that. Yes. Um, putting down the clouds. The clouds will slowly vanish over time, so they're not uh-huh. permanent. But this guy, he won't attack you, um, but if you tame him, then he'll, um, he'll give you resistance, which means you'll take less damage. Oh, right. That's useful. Yeah, so you'll find these guys just like in the sky and uh-huh. oh look here's a gang of those nasty guys who kill you um, can he do anything can he do anything to them no oh but hopefully iron golems can just, yeah, there's, there's, there's nine golems near, well i've i've just put some down and oh, yeah, they're easily destroying the guys. Do which... you need protecting as well as the villagers, don't you? Yeah. Um, now. Oh, good, good. <laughs> good iron golems. What else can I show you? Ah, now. This, um, you may have seen before. It's from regular Minecraft, and I should be putting it down soon. Um, he's a big fella with a big nose. Have you seen him? Not yet. He should appear soon. Oh, yeah. Do you yeah. mean they, it the, looks like a bull? Yeah, this, um, the big kind of rhinoceros dude with the big nose. Oh, right. uh-huh. Um, this guy, he's not usually very nice. Um, he'll usually attack you. But only if you get pretty close to him. Um, so he won't attack you unless you get very close to him. But he um, will he'll actually attack the villagers. Um, he'll participate in raids against the villagers. Um, but um, if you find a wild one in the mountains, um, you can get... Um, a, uh, you can get a whip and whip him and then when he's whipped um, you can tame him by feeding him beetroots and, and now he's my pet he'll follow me around um, as long as you feed him beetroots. Well, no, once you've fed him beetroots once, he'll always be your friend. And so he'll attack the nasties for you, which is very useful. Um, you can also, you can also ride him. Um, um, yeah, very useful. Oh, the bad guy killed him though. Um, just a sec, I'll get a new one. Right, I've got a new one, so hopefully you should be seeing him soon. And then if I get a saddle, then I'll, and I put it on him, and then, uh, then I can ride him. Hopefully you can, you'll be seeing that soon. And can't, I mean, look. Can't he just run them down, the enemy? Yes, he can, but sometimes they can overwhelm him. Um, even if this guy's your pet, sadly the iron golems will actually attack him for some reason. Um, and the villagers are scared of him. But oh. yeah, if he's your pet, then he's completely fine. He won't. He won't kill you. He won't kill you or anything. Oh, but the iron golems might kill him. Yeah. To, to protect the villagers. Yeah. Um. Or but in case of that emergency, you can give him armor, which I've just oh, done right. now. So hopefully. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. Um, hopefully soon you'll see that he's got some blue on him. That's diamond armor. Uh-huh. And he's now a lot stronger and will take less damage.
from iron golems who think he may be a threat. Well, he'll also take less damage from anything, not just iron golems. So, that's very useful. Um, now, what else can I show you? Uh, let me think, let me think. Uh, what can I show you that I've done? I've done a lot of things. Right, okay, I know what I'll show you next. Um, so these, you may remember these from a while ago. Um, like, a long time ago. Now these are the Moo Blooms. They're like cows, but they've got flowers on them. You see them? Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> you remember these guys from a long time ago. Um, yeah. And they're pretty friendly. Of course, they're just cows. Cows can't really hurt you. Um, so, these guys, um, you can change their type. Like, you can change the type of Moo Bloom that you, they are. So, this guy is a um, one with poppies on him. But if you feed him tulips, then he'll change to having tulips on him. Hopefully you should see that changing, oh, him changing soon. Mm. Has he changed yet? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, he's a different type now. You can also give him some things that are less of flowers. So, for instance, you can give him bamboo. And the funny thing about the one that's got bamboo is slowly the bamboo on him will actually grow. Right. So, um, you may see this guy's like got little bamboo saplings on him. Um, slowly those should grow up to be um, very tall. So I can speed up the growth by giving him bone meal. Um, hopefully you can see they've got a lot bigger now. Um, they're very tall. He's nearly the size of this tree, actually. So, and now, if a, um, Moo Bloom, um, like, sometimes, if you give a Moo Bloom bone meal, then he'll start mm. producing flowers below him. Hopefully, you should be able to see that soon. Well, yeah, for me, he's started putting flowers down underneath himself. Um, and yeah, this is, um, and that's quite, mm. quite nice. That's nice, yes. So, yeah, he's got a trail of flowers behind uh -huh. him. That will run out after about a minute, but obviously we're not going to be hanging around for that. Um... So they can just keep producing flowers for however long they want. Well, not really. They'll still run out does after the, a minute. The one with the bamboo, does the bamboo keep on growing? Or can you cut it for some... Well, you can thing. cut the flowers off them and the bamboo and you'll get them. They'll, gr they'll grow back if the guy eats some... Yeah. They'll grow back if the guy eats some um, food, like some grass so that it's not gone forever um but yeah you can shear it off them which actually i'll do now yes so, because bamboo is extremely useful yeah for building things isn't it? yeah for huts and stuff like yeah. that i've just cut the bamboo off him and now he's yeah. naked well he's not actually uh, naked but but he'll start growing again yes soon um now also what else ah well here we have um well soon we'll have the magma cubes just a sec yeah so um hopefully you'll see these guys soon like red blocks yes. um a bit like those cloud ones i showed you earlier can you see them yes what do they do well these guys um they're well, they will actually attack you um oh. but you can also tame them and 
um, if you tame them, then they'll attack who you attack, and they'll attack who attacks you, so they're pretty loyal. They're pretty friendly once you've tamed them, they won't attack you. Um, and these guys, um, you can actually turn them to stone. Um, so I'll just get some water. And yeah, this guy is now turned to stone. Um, and um, does it stay, it remains as stone? Well, yeah, they will. Um, but you could, um, actually, if you put them into lava, they'll stop being a stone. You may be able to see him as stone now. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, you can stop them being a stone if you put them in the lava. Or, or if you kill them, they'll split into multiple magma cubes that aren't made of stone. Or, if you want to be very mean, you could get your pickaxe out and mine him. Uh-huh. Um, what's that useful for? Well, you can just get some stone and it just disintegrates him. So... Uh, yeah. Obviously, it's not very practical to mine him if he's your pet, because that's mean. Yeah. But, yeah, but I can... Is it stone you can build anything Yeah, stone that you can mill with, you can do anything with it, or you can do whatever you want. And uh, now, also, this that I'm going to put down soon. Where's the egg? Ah, here it is. Um... I'll turn it to night time because these guys burn in the day. Right, um, here. You may see a guy flying up into the sky. Uh, I'll put a few more down. Can you see them? What are they? These are phantoms. They're, phantoms? Yeah, they're in regular mo They're in regular Minecraft. Um, and they will they'll swoop down to attack you um but that's just at night well yeah if you turn it to in the uh, desert not in the not always in the desert um it's well, they appear if you've not slept for a long time um so if you've not slept they'll come down and attack you um but um these guys you can tame them once again um, and I believe it's with this, um, and this is like, it's like rotten flesh, but it's like, but it's if you cook it. So if I feed him this, then now he's my pet, hopefully you could have seen some hearts coming off him. Um, and now he's following me. Um, so if I just walk along then slowly he'll come he'll he'll always be circling me um and yeah he's now friendly and he'll attack who are, like he'll help me attack the nasties which is very uh -huh. useful so hopefully i'll be able to show that off soon okay he's up there so if i attack this skeleton uh, oh, my ravager's attacking him. Uh, where's the tile? Here. I wonder if I can show the phantom attacking the enemies without the ravager. Um, just a sec. Uh, I've not made it so that you can make the ravager sit down yet, which is a bit annoying if you don't want the ravager to be following you. So. Hopefully I can take the phantom to a place where the ravager isn't so that I can show you him attacking the enemies. Okay, hopefully now I'm in the middle of the desert. So if I punch this husk, he should, yeah, he's all red and he attacks him. Hopefully you saw that. You should yeah. be seeing it soon. Yeah. Um, and if I hit the guy again, the phantom will once again go red and attack him. What's that he's attacking? Um, a husk. It's a type of zombie. Outside the zombie, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, yeah. so you can 
get the phantom to kill him. Uh, hopefully you'll be doing that soon. Uh, um, now also, if you want the phantom to come to you for some reason, then you can actually make this uh, this thing, which is called a phantom training wand. And if you hold it out, then it'll come to you. You see, now he is all close to me. Yeah. Um. So that's useful if you, you want to do what I'm going to show you now, which is um, giving him some clothes. So if you draw him to you, then you can put these clothes on him. Um, hopefully you can see him wearing those now. And like he's got red on him, like he's got a little hat and stuff. And now he flies faster because he's wearing the clothes. So that's useful for some things. You can also use a dye to change the color of his clothes. So you could change it to purple, for instance, like I've just done. Now he's wearing purple clothes instead of red, like he was just a second ago. Right, yes, I see. Uh -huh. It's and, and that will stay your chained and your friend, will he? Yeah, he'll stay like that forever now, and he'll follow and will he me. And protect you from the other phantoms? Yeah, he'll protect me from the other phantoms. If they attack me, he'll attack them. So... He's pretty loyal, and yeah, he'll stay a like. Very useful. Pen. Yeah. A very useful. Pen. Yeah, it's good to have an aerial attacker on your team. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, and you can also with the wand make it so that he stays it just circling one place instead of following right. you. So that's what I've done now. He'll just stay in that place now. Um, now one thing I'd like to show you is how the three types of iron golems do a uh, against a raid Which is the, the a raid um, Like so a raid on the village where the bad guys are attacking oh, right, right. Um, So we'll see how the iron golems do against that so yeah. if I just, uh, oh, there's three iron golems here. Oh no, they don't like my ravager. Just to say, I'll have to make him go away. Uh, just a sec. Don't attack my ravager, he's my friend. <laughs> um, how am I gonna, oh. how am I yes, going? Friend, no, I don't know how I'm going to put the Ravager somewhere safe. Oh my goodness, I nearly drove him into the lava. <laughs> that wouldn't have been good. That wouldn't have been good at all. Uh, I'll just make him go over here and hopefully he won't follow me back. Just go over here. Don't follow me. Don't follow me, you. No following. Right. Now, if I go back there, hopefully the Ravager won't follow me. And maybe the Iron Golems will have transformed. Yes, good. The Iron Golems have transformed into their improved forms. So yeah. now, I'm going to make a raid happen. You'll probably see a red bar appear on the screen soon at the top, which says raid. Hopefully, oh, that should happen soon. And the iron golems are all around the village. They're ready for it to happen. Ready for the enemies to attack. Um, hopefully, uh, soon. Yes. The yeah, the soon. Yeah, there's the enemies, and one of the iron golems is already going for them. He's killing them, which is good. Hopefully, you'll be seeing that soon. Um, and the healer is attack or is healing the iron the villagers even. Oh no! Oh, there's oh no! An enemy killed a villager just then. That's not good at all. 
Um, but the Iron Golems are trying to help the raid, or help the villagers against the raid. Um, they're killing the enemies. Look, why are you focusing on killing the skeletons? Kill the attackers. <sighs> they're still not that clever. Don't go into the water. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, they're trying to kill the enemies now. Um, um, so they're helping out the villagers. Hopefully the villagers are going to survive. Um, you see the iron golems trying to attack people. Now it says there's two raiders left. Where are they? Hmm. Where are they? Why do these bad guys always get lost? They're right here. I'll have to kill them because they don't seem like they're going to be moving. I'm going to have to kill them myself instead. Of... Yeah. I'll have to kill them instead of um, the iron golems killing them. Right, so soon there's going to be a new level of the raid. And hopefully the iron golems will be able to hold their own against it. And hopefully the villagers will have common sense and go into the houses. Um, okay, the enemies are, pro are approaching from this side. The villagers better watch out. Quick iron golems, where are you? No, don't go into the water. That's not a good idea. The, the iron golems can't swim, so it's a terrible idea for them to go into the water. Uh, okay, well, this guy's trying to attack the enemies, but there's more enemies up here. This isn't a very good village for the guys to be at, to be fair. Um, hopefully the... Iron Golems will have some sense and go to where the enemies are. Come on, fella. Come on. Yeah, they're still not that clever. But... Okay, this guy's attacking the enemies. Well, he's trying anyway. Oh, I'll have to make a staircase for him to get up. <laughs> Look, I've made a staircase for you. I've made a staircase. Go, go on the staircase. Come on. Have you got any sense? Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, right. Well, he's got up here. Uh, okay, there's the enemy. Are either of the iron golems going to see him? Look. There's the enemy here. Do you see him? Yes, this oh, the attacker has seen him. Quick, before it's too late, guess him. Guess him, he's right there. Yes. Yes, the golem got him. Um, hopefully this healer guy is going to heal them. Um, are you going to heal the villagers? There's still quite a few villagers. I thought the enemies had killed them all. <laughs> Thank goodness. There's not... Oh, there are some villagers left. Okay, where are the enemies this time? Okay, they're over here. Watch out, villager. Run into a house quickly. Okay, the golem has seen the enemies, including this ravager, who's not my friend. But the iron golem easily defeated him. Hopefully you can see the iron golem actually doing something useful. And attacking the enemies. Look, you're not gonna do anything behind this house, are you? Where's the last raider? Uh ah, oh, there he is. Oh, this guy has spotted him. Quick, hurry! The guy's right there. Oh, they've both spotted him. Right, they defeated the enemies. Good. Very good. Well, are the villagers hiding or have they been killed? They're trying to hide. I think there's one more wave of the raid. And the villagers and the iron golems appear to have got themselves stuck. How have you got yourselves stuck, dudes? Come on, escape. Ah, oh, come on, villagers. 
they're getting attacked now. Okay, the Iron Golems have seen the enemies though. Okay, good. Um, quick, the villagers on the surface are getting killed. Okay, is the healer going to heal this villager? At least, no! The guy didn't have enough, like the villager died just before the guy healed him. Oh, come on. Look, I've made a way for you to get out. Come on. Come on. Right, come on. Now attack the enemies. I'll let you out. Just a sec. I'll have to reset the thing because for some reason the iron golems go weird when I help them. It shouldn't take very long. Just a sec. Okay, right. The guy are attacking the enemies hopefully you'll see that soon this guy spotted an en oh, an enemy who's trying to attack a oh the guy killed the villager before the iron golem got to him come on are there any villagers left well i mean there must be because the raid's still going on uh I'm afraid the Iron Golems, even though they've got more powers, they're not much more intelligent than they were, well, they're are they? they're slightly more intelligent. I mean, they're killing the guys. Um, yeah. The guy just used his jumping power to get to that enemy. Um, come on, are you actually going to attack him? Right. The Iron Golem just killed another guy. Look, why have you left the house, villager? Don't leave the house, that's your only safe place. Oh, actually, the villager may be a bit smart coming out, actually, because he came out to let the guy heal him. Oh my goodness, there's a load of enemies this time, but the iron golems are trying to attack them. I hope the villager has had some sense and has gone into a house, because there's a lot of enemies this time. No, no, the villager, did he die? Are there no villagers left? I hope there are. That villager just died. I hope, I hope there's some villagers left. Uh, well, the iron golems are actually helping this time. So that's useful at least. But I think most of the villagers have died now. Oh, the iron golems are definitely helping. Still. Um. Come on, iron golems, you can do this. Where are all the surviving villagers? Oh, there's one in here. There's one villager in here. All the enemies are getting themselves stuck. Uh. But the iron golems won't be able to attack them like that. Look, you can't see the villager, so go somewhere else. <laughs> what is with these enemies going into these weird little clusters? I'll have to finish these guys off because the iron golems only find them out then. Um, right. Um, the enemies, oh, I got rid of those enemies, so hopefully the iron golems will be able to attack them. Why is it the healer guy who can't attack, who's getting to the place where most of the enemies are? That's ludicrous. Uh, are they multiplying the enemy? Well, there's multiple waves to the raid, so there's more, like, there's more and more enemies each, um, wave. Um. It's a bit unfair, isn't it? Well, You haven't got any more, uh, golems. You still have got the same number of golems. Here. Yeah. The golems are still helping. Oh no, now that it's got to night time, there's some of the other nasty creatures who have come to attack the iron golems. That's not good at all. Oh, the iron golems are still attacking them, though. Um, come on, golems. Where's the attacker gone? Where'd he go, huh? Why is my phantom here all of a sudden? 
How'd that happen? That's weird. Uh, that doesn't really matter though, because my phantom is not going to help out in the raid, so he's not going to interrupt the iron golems. Huh. These iron golems aren't doing as well as I thought they would. Uh. Oh, I mean, this iron golem is literally job. just getting attacked. This iron golem is getting attacked by a load of guys, and he's not even attacking the enemies. Come on. Get, pull yourself together, man. Come on. There's one villager left. One villager. I hope these iron golems are actually defeated. Where on earth? Where is the attacker dude? Is he just got stuck in a lake or something? He probably has. Is he in this lake? Yep, he's right at the bottom of this lake. I know I was so silly. They should know they can't. They should know they can't swim. So now the healer guy is in the river. Why is he? Tr oh, the iron golem who's down there must be in need of some assistance. So the healer wants to go down there and help him. That's not gonna work, Mister. No. Oh my goodness. Um, so he's going to drown as well, is he? I don't kill my phantom. Well, look, the iron golems don't actually drown. They, um, the iron golems can, well, they won't drown. They'll, um, the iron golems will, um, just, they'll not, they'll not drown, but they'll not come back to the surface, which is not very good, but, how is this guy getting... Look, the skeleton's here. The skeleton's here. These iron golems are terrible. Come on. Come on. And now he's knocked this witch down a hole. Oh, dear me. The iron golems... I mean, they weren't really good, and now when I'm trying to show you how good they are, now that I've improved them, they're being such idiots. Ah. Well, uh, I'd say they, uh, they might have a lot of physical power, but they don't seem to have much brain power, do they? No. Oh, dear me. These guys are not smart. Look, this guy's just being pummeled full of arrows and he's not even, he's not even trying to take out the enemies. What is he doing? Okay, he just knocked the enemies away, but he's still not really doing that well. Oh. He just knocked the enemies down so that he could attack them. That's actually smart. Well done. That's actually smart. Well, they're not that stupid, I guess. They're kind of annoying, though. They're not. Well, they're not that intelligent. This guy's still just stuck here. Come on. If I take you over here, will you attack this enemy? Attack him. Attack him. He's right here. Attack him! Come on! I'm literally taking you to the enemy. Will you attack him? These guys are ridiculous. This guy's using the stairs. He's smart. Are you going to spot that enemy? Are you going to spot are you going to spot that enemy? Are you going to spot that enemy? who's right over there, where you can see him. Oh, yeah, he's seen the enemy, I think. Yeah, he's seen the enemy. Why is that guy so fast? How's the enemy so fast? Do you think there's something wrong with their eyesight? I don't think so. I mean, I've made it so that they can see from at least 44 blocks away. So, I mean, they must be able to see pretty well. They can see enemies from really far. 
Well, this guy did just kill the enemy, but the enemy summoned some little minions. So... Well, this guy's just attacking a spider now. Where's the last enemies? They're behind here. Great. Well, the iron golems are never going to get to them if they're here. Oh, dear. Right. Well, the iron golems, with, the, with a tiny bit of help from me, and by tiny I mean a lot, have managed to defeat a raid. Well, they managed... They managed to win. There's one left. There's one villager survived. And I think that's really because the enemies were too stupid to use the door. <laughs> because, I mean, this villager... Uh, I mean, seriously, he was stuck. He was literally stuck in his house. I think probably the re the probably the reason he survived is because since he was stuck in his house, he didn't yeah. he didn't leave his well, house. You did advise him to go indoors, didn't you? Yeah, this guy actually used that advice surprisingly. Yeah. Well, I don't actually think he was using that advice i think he was literally stuck <laughs> but uh, that was a bit worse than i expected um but i mean the iron golem survived and the villager survived so it's not that bad the iron golem yeah, but you need more than one villager to set it all starting up again. Yeah, you need you need two really. villagers if you want them to reproduce. Oh dear me. Oh, that was a bit ridiculous. Well, you know, you know the iron is in the water. Is it possible to haul them out? Haul him out. Well, yeah, I've. I have hauled him out, but for some reason, if you use a lead to drag him out the water, then he'll go really weird where he can't attack anyone. Uh, I don't know why that is, but yeah. Wait, well, this guy's attacking an enemy. Hmm. Well done. He just killed someone. <laughs> well, I think. Um, I think I've showed you most of the things that are important to show you. So, um, I think, um, hey, mommy, yeah. I think we're finished now. Okay, Do you, yeah. um, oh, well, yes, I'll just say goodbye to her. Mm -hmm. Hello. Awesome. Just tell her that the thing will be turning off now. Well, tell her that it'll be turning off on the television now. Yeah.